Well, I'm Jim Coleman, and I'm the President and Chief Excitement Officer of the Prince George's County Economic Development Corporation. My best friend in the whole world, Sharon Baker, who's done a fabulous job as county executive, invited me to come down to be a part of his economic development team to help lead up the Economic Development Corporation. And so I came down to talk to him about it, and he talked about his vision for the county and all the great things that he had in mind and in store. Um, and I was very impressed with his strategic plan, which he took the county and really made some major impact the first year in office, where he instilled more integrity and accountability with government and a better relationship with the business community. Second thing that he did is that he created this Economic Development Incentive Fund. It's a $50 million uh, fund that allows the Economic Development Corporation, my team and I, to go out and to invite companies to the county as well as to help our existing companies to expand and grow. He also launched this Transforming Neighborhood Initiative. It's called T&I in about six different neighborhoods and it literally has reduced crime by more than 60% over the last five years. On top of that, he really streamlined the permitting process to make it easy for developers and businesses to move to the county. And then the last thing, and one of the most important things that's on his mind every day is he's made a major impact on improving the performance of our schools. When you look at all those key things that he and I discussed, I signed up because I knew that those are the right things that you need to do to drive a great economy. And today, that's why right now, everything that should be up is up and everything that should be down is down. Housing prices are up 14%. Our median household income right now is at a record high of $77,000, up $5,000 versus a year ago. And then on top of that, we've created over 12,000 new jobs just in the last year. And so the county is uh, poised for continued growth. We are happy about the MGM facility. We're looking forward to bringing out the FBI, and a lot more is in store for the county for the future. Well, the big success is that we opened up the brand new MGM uh, Resort and Casino at National Harbor on December the 8th. The wait is over and we are excited. It's creating over 3,600 new jobs. Many of these jobs start off at $50,000 or more. And then on top of that, it's going to help to create over $270 million over the next five years for tax revenue for the county. And then it also provides our local entrepreneurs over $70 million a year in procurement opportunity. So it's a great corporate partner. It's a great corporate citizen. We're excited that the Peterson companies uh, was able to attract the MGM uh, facility, but again, a lot of this wouldn't have happened if you didn't have a county executive in charge of making sure that county government was going to be responsive uh, and supportive of this great new facility to make it uh, affordable for uh, the Peterson companies and MGM to be able to build this great facility and to be able to get it done in record time within 24 months ahead of schedule and below budget. County Executive Baker and also Dave Iannucci uh, work together on this sector strategy plan for Prince George's County. And it focuses in on four key sectors that are hyper growth sectors and high wage sectors. The first is IT. We want to do everything in the world to help any entrepreneur out there that wants to launch an IT company in Prince George's County to be able to do it. We also want to make sure that all of our IT contractors are successful and that they're growing. We do a lot of business with the federal government and we have a lot of successful contractors in our county and we want to continue to attract many. Why? Because it creates good high wage jobs for a lot of our residents and you don't have to have a four year degree to get into the IT sector. We spend a lot of money out of our workforce development division to be able to help any resident who's looking to make a change in their career or to be able to get back into the workforce to be able to get into IT because you can get a job starting up at 50,000 plus with just really a four to six month certificate. And so it's a game changer for a lot of our residents. The second hot sector would be the medical and life sciences field. And it's important because we're gonna be launching a $543 million brand new hospital that will be breaking ground probably within the next month or two. This brand new hospital is gonna have over 200 beds. It will create over 1,800 new jobs directly. But in the Largo region, we're expecting over 10,000 new jobs that will be created. Right now we have about 25,000 of our residents who leave the county every year to get medical care outside of the county. And we want to provide improved access to good high quality care. And so that's going to help us to be able to satisfy the needs of our residents while at the same time continue to create good high wage jobs in the medical sector. When you have those two sectors uh, rapidly growing, you're going to have a need for more lawyers and accountants and consultants. And so we're going after professional services. Again, those are professional jobs, high wage jobs. And then the last part, we're going to continue to get our fair share of government uh, contracts and government sector uh, employers to come out to the county. And that's why the county executive is working hard to bring out the FBI because it will have over 11,000 new jobs. It will create another 10,000 jobs that we're expecting in the cybersecurity sector. So that's our focus and it's paying off because that's uh, where we want to go with having the right types of jobs in our county. When County Executive Baker took over, the fastest growing job in the county was a cashier in a retail store. 
and uh, cashier in a retail store, that's a great job, but it's a good job for younger people who are maybe still in high school. We want our moms and dads in our community to be able to have good high wage jobs so they can take care of themselves, buy a home, have a car, be able to go take their families out uh, to a great restaurant on Friday and Saturday night and to be able to contribute back to their church and their community. And you can't do that on a minimum wage job. So we're focused on high wage jobs and we want to continue to bring in high, high wage, high demand sector companies to be able to help us to meet that mission.